Everybody, I'd like to introduce you to the Scotty downrigger. It's an electric downrigger that works a lot different than other downriggers. And what I'd like to do is give you a little demonstration. We have on the end of the downrigger, your 10 pound ball. You should always make sure that up from the line, you have what they call a brake, a plastic brake. You see this little plastic thing here? Make sure that you have that on at least four feet from the downrigger ball. I'd even probably go five feet from the downrigger ball. What'll happen is that comes up, it'll stop your downrigger. So what we're gonna first of all do is we're gonna let down the downrigger, okay? Now what I've done is I've, I, I have a cut plug herring and I've let it out about 15, 20 feet behind the boat. And I've taken the line and I've attached it to a downrigger clip. This is a downrigger clip here. So by squeezing the downrigger clip like this here, I can I'm, I put the line within that clip and then this clip is attached to the line, like that, to the downrigger wire. Make sure that this is not too tight. And then come back here and take the brake handle and you pull it back and you feather it a little bit with your thumb so it doesn't go too fast and you allow it to go down to the particular depth that you want. Right there is 24 feet. We stop. You tighten up your you tighten up your your rod so that you have a full bend. When he hits your hook, he will pull the line out of the release clip, and you will, when you play the fish, you'll have nothing but the fish on the end of your line. So here we go, just like this. And so let's say that a fish hits. The other way too is. If you want to release your rod from the downrigger, a lot of people go like this here and they start jigging it like this here. That's the wrong way to do it. A good way to do it is to wind down like this here. Fill it tight, take your hand, and now watch what happens when I hit the rod. You see, now look at the rod tip. You see, it has come free from the downrigger. Now all I have to do is reel in my line. The next thing I want to do is to bring in the downrigger ball by going on the on. When it does come up, it'll, it'll, it'll stop automatically. And in that short time that I had my gear down, we had a fish strike. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So that's, that's how easy it is to use a downrigger. Enjoy your fishing up here at uh, Green Charlotte Lodge.